Welcome to our prayer time for Northview United Methodist Church for the week of February the 12th. I'm Pastor Doug. Our scripture this week comes from Psalm 119, verses 1 to 8. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts and kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not put to shame. Having my eyes fixed on all your commandments, I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. For those of you watching on social media, please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in our next prayer time. This coming Sunday, the 19th, we will be having a crock-pot soup lunch following worship. A donation basket will be available. This is a fundraiser for Kids Soar. This is an after-school tutoring program that our outreach committee is involved with, where they serve a meal to the students and to their parents before the tutoring. Please come out and join us for this time. For our joys, the Reverend Lynn Riddle of Holland's Church of the Nazarene is engaged to be married to Doreen Davis. Congratulations to the couple. For our prayer concerns, Dan Shelton has been ill this week. Prayers for him as he recovered. Jerry Canada also hurt his ribs recently. Prayers for Jerry. Helen Watson had the two following requests. Please continue to remember Jackie Stewart, my neighbors Beth and Kevin, and their care for Jackie in recovering from her stroke. She has to learn to speak again. Also, please remember my cousin, Marilyn Patterson, who is being placed in memory care facility in North Carolina, and remember her daughter, Linda, as she cares for her mother. Uh, Dennis Carter is now back in cardiac ICU at the University of Virginia. Prayers for Dennis and for Cheryl. Billy Ginger is in Carillion Hospital. Prayers for him and for Debbie. My stepmother, Catherine, lost her twin sister this week. Uh, That makes my stepmother the last in her family. Uh, Prayers for Catherine. Praying for those who've been affected by the earthquake in Turkey and in Syria. We're praying for those affected by the Michigan State University shooting. And continuing to pray for Ukraine and the surrounding region. Also lifting up any unspoken concerns on your hearts and minds. Our prayer is based on our scripture passage from Psalm 119. Sovereign Lord, you gave us your law to guide and protect us. Within your precepts, we find security and happiness. Each of us bears the scars and bruises from times we have wandered beyond your commandments. Remove our shame and restore us to our true selves within your righteousness. Fix our eyes on your ordinances as we serve you. Ready this congregation as we care for those who struggle with illness and personal troubles. No one needs to feel forsaken who is in your care. We commend those persons named and each one of us to your mercy. We ask this prayer in your name as we pray as you taught the disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.